Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. A couple of weeks ago, I was given a boilerplate presentation from an analyst about the future of the data integration market. They wanted to get my opinion on their work, and the presentation had a clause in it, which I had seen so many times I almost skipped it. The slide said low code and no code would be the future of data management. I sat back in my chair and realized not only was this wrong, but the exact opposite was happening in the market. What we're seeing today is a complete exit from low code and no code tools. These are structured interfaces, which enable developers to build their solutions by dragging and dropping widgets into a workflow. But why are we seeing such a rapid exit from these tools? For example, it's no secret that ETL tools are seeing a massive exodus in favor of SQL or PySpark. I used to think that this was due to performance gains in driving an ELT framework natively on the cloud data store. But there is something else that has come up and it's much deeper than performance. I'll unpack that in just a second. Let me first recall a prediction that was made by Kevin Wheel. He's OpenAI's chief product officer. He said this January, I think this is the year that at least by competitive coding benchmarks, AI becomes better than humans at competitive coding forever. So with that in mind, let's unpack the ETL abandonment discussion. One thing you may not be aware of is that low code and no code environments store their metadata structures as proprietary files, usually XML or JSON. And because these are proprietary formats, the best of breed AI models are not aware of them. So if Kevin's prediction comes true, by the end of this year, organizations that have their data integration locked into these low code environments won't be able to use the best developer in the world. So if you wanna use the best developer in the world, then you need your logic to use widely available languages like PySpark and SQL. Now the owners of these low code, no code platforms will tell you, well, that isn't a problem because we have our own AI capabilities built in, to which I would ask, is it the best developer in the world? Probably not. The truth is that a proprietary format will simply not get enough advancement to keep up with the more open formats. This is why the pressure to get off of low code and no code environments is advancing so aggressively. And the more enterprises understand this, the faster the exodus will occur. Now, will they lose their user interface with nice widgets and workflows? Yes, yes they will but they'll be able to use the best developer in the world. <laughs> I hope I'm making this crystal clear. So where does this leave low code and no code platforms? Well, the ones that leverage open languages under the covers are probably in a better position, but they aren't completely in the clear. You see, the best developer in the world might write code that fits nicely in your little packaged widgets, but it might design things that are completely outside your expected patterns. What I can see happening in the future is that visual representations of data transformation code are also generated by AI, allowing users to see what's going on. Now, I've created a lot of content about how to migrate off of these low-code environments like ETL tools, and we've done a lot of work in that space, and we have a lot of case studies to show for it. If you'd like to get a flavor for what those case studies look like, I've created a page for Databricks and a page for Snowflake, which tend to be the most common migration targets, both of which every major AI tool can write code for. And I've put a link to the, both of those in the video description. And if you'd like to connect with us about migrating your ETL footprint, click on the Let's Talk button when you're at our site.